Earlier we go in to leave him in chains While those who framed him uphold the king The People vs. Kelly was the title Of the farce we staged that is appeal Lawyers in well-rehearsed collusion I often wonder how these men must feel His freedom. Give Nicky. It was appropriate that two days after his release from prison last July, Nicky Kelly's first sortie into social life was to the Wexford Inn in Dublin to hear Christy Moore. For a number of years in his songs and stage performances, Moore has been singing out the demand to free Nicky Kelly. It was one of a number of radical left-wing causes, from the AIDS blocks issue to the anti-amendment campaign and the miners' strike, with which Christy Moore has been associated, and which have made him an occasionally controversial, as well as a phenomenally popular performer. Doherty and Lynch, McDonnell, Herson, McElwee, Divine. The time has come to part my love. I must go away. I leave you now, my darling girl. No longer. Can I stay? It's a long way from the heartlands to Santiago Bay, where the good doctor lies with blood in his eyes and the bullets read U.S. of A. They were playing Hiroshima, Nagasaki, Russian roulette. Hiroshima, Nagasaki, Russian roulette. Hiroshima, Nagasaki, Russian roulette. A tribute to Frank Ryan, Kit Conway and Denny Cody too, Peter Daly, Charlie Reagan and Hugh Bonner, though many died I can but name the few, Danny Boyle, Blazer Brown and Charlie Donnelly, Liam Tomlinson and Jim Strainy from the fall, Jack Nalty, Tommy Patton and Frank Conroy. Jim Foley, Tony Fox and Dick O'Neill Viva la Quinta Brigada La Passura Tell me about the song you're working on at the moment. Well, this is my um, portable Indian organ, which I, I use for working out melodies and chords. And at the moment, I'm uh, going through a song which I'm uh, hoping to perform uh, in the next couple of nights. You know. What is the song? It's a song called By Clyde's Bunny Banks. Uh, a song about uh, a mining disaster in the village of Blantyre outside Glasgow, which I thought would be a, a suitable song to, to sing at the Miners' Benefit concert in Liberty Hall. It would be a, would mean something at that concert. Mm -hmm. That's a political or semi-political concert. And is uh, how important is that aspect of what you're doing? And how do you choose the... Well, the, the, benefits that you do. I think the main importance of, of the concert for me is that um, it's it's 
a concert to raise funds for the families of the miners who are now starting to suffer a lot. I mean, we have there, there's soup kitchens now in Yorkshire and Lancashire, and um, I think it's important to support the families of the miners in any way we can, without getting involved in the political aspect of it. I mean, I, I didn't go through a whole political thing. I was asked to do a miner's benefit. I didn't have to think about it. And is that the way you do get involved? Is it simply that causes uh, appear to you which seem worth supporting rather than a political ideology which you have to fulfil? Uh, I, would, I, I would say yes. You know, I, I tend to follow my heart more than any uh, political ideology. I wouldn't even say I have political ideology. How would you describe your politics? I wouldn't. And, and where do they come from? Are they just them from the heart and from instinct? Or is there a family yeah. background of political involvement and radicalism? Would be in instinctive. I don't kind of examine um, things that that much. Like I don't kind of go into a market research thing of why there's so many people at a particular concert. I mean, I've always said down through the years that I feel the main reason that people come to a gig of mine is that they'll be entertained. And entertained despite the fact that many of them may have no time at all for the political point of view, which at times you're putting forward from the stage. Well, I mean, I don't go on a stage to put forward a political point of view, and uh, I go forward onto a stage to entertain people. And, like, my primary thing has always been to, to sing my songs and to entertain in the course of singing those songs. I'm going to finish up with a song for Nicky, OK. <laughs> The Liston Varna song came about was the Wednesday before Liston Varna, the last Liston Varna festival. I was playing up in Belturbet in County Cavan and I was informed that I was due to go on before Rory Gallagher to play for an hour before Rory Gallagher came on and I straight away got this vision of 10,000 Rory Gallagher fans waiting for their hero and me coming on with my acoustic guitar trying to make an impression. So I said, I better write something and that will give me a chance to kind of get through to the people that are there and maybe get them to listen to the rest of me set. So I started writing the thing, just kind of listening, 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 Varna, which I felt I could get everybody singing and might even appeal to Rory Gallagher fans that could all chant it, you know. So I started writing it on the, um, I suddenly said it, even Rory Gallagher fans, should I? It would appeal to Rory Gallagher fans. <laughs> and um, it worked. And then I, I thought I'd only perform it once on the day, but I started getting shouts at gigs for listening Varna, listening Varna, you know. So I revived it and rewrote it so as it wouldn't just apply to the particular night. So it became a different song and has, it constantly undergoes slight changes here and there.